Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and we have the first beta of Android 14 available and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in Android 14 beta 1. Now do note the video is divided into two sections. The first section are what is new as compared to Android 14 developer previews. Then the next section will show you what is new in this Android 14 beta 1 when it is compared to the latest and the greatest Android 13 stable build. So timestamps to those can be found in the description of the video and without further delay let us see what is new in Android 14 beta 1. So here it is, this is the Google Pixel 6a which right now is running Android 14 beta 1 and we are going to kick off with what is new when you compare it to Android 14 developer previews. So if you go into your security and privacy settings and you have a pin set up and you go to customize that. Herein, you will notice you have a new toggle called Enhanced Pin Privacy, which is going to disable animations when you are entering your pin. So, what does this mean, or how is this helpful? Well, this is helpful in situations wherein you have people who are trying to snoop in on you and they're trying to get your pin. Now, when you press on any of the digits, the animation has been removed so they cannot see what is your pin by guessing the animations. Surprisingly, the animation is still present on the back arrow over here, but it is good to know that Google is looking into security. However, a pretty nifty feature which has been present in custom ROMs for ages is scrambling the pin layout so that the digits are at different places on your keypad. I think implementing that would be even better. Then if you have enabled your developer options, you can search for a feature called transparent navigation bar. And once you have enabled transparent navigation bar, you will notice that the navigation bar here is transparent. It is not going to disappear, but the background is transparent in applications which support it. In applications which do not support it, you still might get the ugly background here on the bottom, but applications which support it, the navigation bar is going to be transparent. Then if you press and hold on any app icon, you will notice that the app info and the pause app actions have been flipped around. Then if you go into settings and we can go into the display settings, therein you will notice in the lock screen section, you have a new toggle which will let you enable or disable weather conditions on the lock screen. This option is not functional right now, but the toggle is definitely present. Going back into settings, if you go into your accounts and passwords section, here in you will notice that you have something called Google Password Manager. Now at the time of recording this video, enabling or disabling this does not do anything, but the option is definitely there. Then if we go into system languages and input and try to change the system language, you're now going to get a confirmation dialog before you can change your system language. Next step, Google also seems to be pushing the nearby share feature. So let us say we take a screenshot and then we try to share it. You will notice that you now have the option of nearby right besides the edit option. So nearby share is like the equivalent of airdrop on Android wherein you can share it quickly with Windows computers. Next up, if you use the markup tool, you will notice a new change. So let us try to edit this screenshot. So the pens over here have the color which is activated. Let us go into one of those and try to change the color to green and bam, there it is. You can see that the top half has now changed to green color and you can of course change it to any color which you want to and now it has changed to red. Now let us talk about what is new in Android 14 beta 1 when you compare it to Android 13 stable build. So Google Play system update is from June 2023. And when I go back, you will notice that the back arrow is inside a pill. More about that in a bit, but you will also notice that in the about phone page, your phone number, your EID and your IMEI are now hidden by 
default so you have to tap to show them and while we are on the about page if i go into legal information you will also notice that you now have a link to source code in the legal information page now coming back to your back arrow so let us say we go into settings and we go into apps and now if i try to go back you will notice two things one the back arrow is inside a pill or a circle now important thing to note over here is that this circle is themed according to your wallpaper so yes it will adapt to material you and your current theme then you will also notice that you are able to see where you are going to go back to so this is a new feature called predictive back gesture and of course you do have to enable Enable your developer options and enable the predictive back gesture and here it is in action on your screen right now another important functionality of predictive back gesture is that it is working on apps which support it so if I go into the phone app and now if I try to go back you're seeing in the background is my home screen so now I know that when I go back I will land on my home screen but this feature is not working for the messages app right now so I think applications do have to implement the new Android 14 predictive pack gesture. Next major change in Android 14 beta 1 with respect to your privacy is if you are giving applications access to your photos and videos. They do not have access to all of them. You can selectively select which pictures photos and videos apps have access to and if you are an iphone owner you know this is a major privacy feature with iphone which is now coming over to android as well so if i tap on the plus sign over here i am going to say post a new tweet go into photos you will see i have different options so you have allow twitter to access photos and videos on this device so you can say allow all don't allow or say select photos and videos and once you do that you can select whatever picture you want and here it is i just selected one picture and i say allow one on the bottom and as you can see twitter now has access to only this one picture and i'm not sure how to say add more pictures or videos because if i go into photos this is what i get and if i tap here it selects this picture to tweet it out and if I tap on the camera icon it is asking me to give it permission to the camera application so that it can capture pictures so I think adding new pictures and videos is something which still needs to be figured out next up if you press and hold on the empty space on your home screen go into wallpapers and style here and if you try to change a wallpaper you will notice that the preview now is in full screen and of course you can switch between lock screen and home screen and once you are happy with the results all you have to do is tap on set wallpaper on the top right next change you will notice in android 14 beta 1 is with respect to your quick settings media player so every time you interact with your quick settings media player you're going to see a shimmering effect here it is if i pause it if i play it you're going to see a shimmering effect and the album art also has a continuous shimmering effect as well then if you tap on this phone over here and you try to increase the volume using the media output picker you will notice that you now have a percentage and if you go down to zero it doesn't go all the way down because when you let go it is going to be replaced with a mute button then if you have any connected devices like your bluetooth speakers they're going to show up in a section right below this phone and say speakers over here as well and while we are talking about music media output another change you will notice is that you now have separate sliders for your ringtones and your notification in this menu and if you go into settings and then you go into sound and vibration over here as well you have separate ringtone and notification volumes which i think will be a pleasant surprise for a lot of you peeps out there next up if you head into settings then you go into apps you scroll down you go into special app access and you scroll down you will see new options like long background tasks manage full screen intents and nfc launch moving over to notification settings here and you will see new option called flash notification so you can enable your 
camera flash for a new notification you can also enable your screen flash for a new notification and if you enable your screen flash tap on it you can also change the color of the flash and then say done and of course if you want a preview bam here it is this is a preview right here let us see if it flashes the flash as well there it is working like a boss Next up, let us go into battery settings and see what is new over here. So if you go into your battery usage, for starters, you will notice you do have your screen on time over here. Then you can also filter your applications. So if you tap on this down arrow, you can break it down by apps or break it down by system apps. Previously, you would have to scroll down all the way to look at system applications. Then if you go into battery saver, you will notice a few changes over here as well. So you have your radio buttons to select your standard or extreme battery saver. If you go into the settings, you can customize your extreme battery saver. Then you have a new menu option which has been renamed and this one is schedule and reminders. So here then you have your turn on based on battery level toggle, turn off at 90% and you have a new toggle which says battery saver reminders. Adaptive battery has also been moved into battery saver. And another important feature is that your quick settings tile will now tell you what battery saver mode has been activated. So here it is, you can see that it is telling me the extreme battery saver mode is now active. Then if we go into display settings, herein you will notice that your navigation mode has now moved into display settings. So you can choose between gesture and three button navigation. If you go into display size and text, herein you will notice that the font size steps have increased from four to now seven steps for your font size. Jumping over to security and privacy settings, herein you will notice that you no longer have any arrows or drop downs. All the menus are separate. If you go into these menus, you will notice that all of them have a header and they also have an image in some of those options. So this is another new change in Android 14 beta 1. Moving over to system settings, let us go into languages and input. Herein you will see a new option which says regional preferences and herein you can configure the temperature whether you want it in Celsius or in Fahrenheit. Then you can configure the first day of the week and you can also configure your number preferences. Of course, for the other options to show, you do have to add the languages. So as you can see, I have added two languages. One is the system language and the other one is Hindi. And if I go into regional preferences, the number preferences now shows Hindi as well. And next up, you will notice that on the main system settings, navigation mode is now in the main menu. Previously, it was inside this gestures page, but now it is in the main menu. Then while we are still in the main page of system settings, if you go into multiple users and you enable the toggle for multiple users, you will notice you have a new toggle which says allow guest to use phone. So once you enable this toggle, the guest user will be able to make phone calls and send messages. And of course, because of that, the call history will be shared with this guest user. Then if you go into your reset options in the system settings, you will notice you have a new option which says reset mobile network settings. Then you have reset Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So this option of reset mobile network settings is something new which has been added with Android 14 beta 1. Then another change which I noticed is that if you go and enable the option of always show keyboard in your application drawer, then when you open the app drawer, the keyboard will slide up at the same time. So here it is, I'm opening my application drawer and you will see that the keyboard is sliding up at the same time. In Android 13, it first opens the application drawer and then the keyboard slides up. So here it is more consistent and more coherent in my humble opinion. And last but not the least, if you have two SIMs set up on your Google Pixel. So let us say you have a physical SIM and you have an eSIM. If you go into settings, then you go into network and internet. And here, and if you go into your SIM settings, 
you will notice that you have a new toggle which says switch mobile data automatically so this is going to switch mobile data automatically between the different sims based on which one has better and stronger network strength and there it is peeps that is what was new in android 14 beta 1 of course i might have missed out on a few features and if i did do let me know in the comments on this video